Hello everybody and welcome back to Grower's Farm. So I think it's about time we actually had some animals on this let's play. So my plan is to get some sheep. Now I've done this before where I've just said let's get some animals and then I go and get about three or four sheep and really three or four sheep isn't very impressive. We do have £150,000 and we don't really need to spend any more money on big machinery. So I think we could put a lot of that money into the sheep work. Now of course it's not just a case of buying the sheep, we have to also get equipment to uh, manage the sheep with, so a water tanker and also um, well, I think we probably have everything for the feed because the sheep will just very simply take some grass. So we mow some grass and we bale it or we just pick it up with a bucket. So really it is just the, uh, the water tanker which we're lacking. So I've just got the windrower here which needs to be put back into its storage point and also uh, we do actually have a total of, well we have six fields really because two of those fields are fields without numbers because one of them is for the cows and one of them is for the sheep. But we do have four sort of official fields which can be uh, worked in. Two of them we have already worked in, the two new ones for this series, I bought them at the beginning of the series in episode number one. That was fill number five and fill number two. But we also have fill number six and fill number seven, which I have never even been into. So these are the perfect fields for mowing. We probably don't need to mow both today, but we do need to mow some of the first field. Probably six is going to be the best one. My straw stack over there. Yes, yeah, so I, haven't, I haven't done the uh, multiplayer video yet of building a, a straw castle or maybe just a massive straw stack, but it is on the cards. It's going to be coming soon. Um, and also, the other thing which I'm hoping to do is what was suggested in my comment section, sugarcane. Now, I know that this map is really not the right place for sugarcane to be <laughs> to be grown, because um, it's not grown in the UK, but it would still be quite interesting to do. It, it might be that I just do it in multiplayer, I'm not too sure, but sugarcane was a very highly requested crop. Okay, so I think probably the Aquatrans 7300S is going to be the best one for us to get today because we don't really need to have that much water. And also, the other thing which we need to get is obviously the sheep themselves, but it's probably, probably going to be more cost-effective to actually pay for delivery. This takes 10 in each go. I've gone and check out the prices of the sheep and delivery, but this is £24,000. I suppose I could return it straight away. I could also lease it. So as you can see here, the sheep are £1,500 each and delivery is £100 per sheep. Uh, to lease the trailer, it was something like £1,100, so that's only 11 sheep. So it's definitely going to be worth leasing the livestock trailer. And I think for this job, we're going to use the very nice JCB. This is the uh, much larger JCB, the 8330. I think the one I used on Survival Roleplay was the smaller... JCB, which was on demo. Oh. And yeah, I've also noticed that the uh, mining construction economy map is out for 19. It's based on the Estancia Apache map, and it looks really good. It's sort of, well, the same idea as the one on 17, where you can do um, the production of concrete and you can do grapes and everything. Uh, so I think it would be a nice idea to do some videos on there. It was quite a popular thing to do for 17, so uh, yeah, I would like to do it. And also, uh, it would also promote the uh, the author of the map. Well, the map is uh, essentially the Apache, which is Giants, obviously, but it has been edited quite heavily because it has many quarries and the mines and vineyards and all that sort of stuff. Oh yes, by the way, whenever I say vineyard, that is how we pronounce it in the UK. Um, last time I said that, somebody said, uh, what? What are you on about, Darwin? It's vineyard. Well, it might be in other countries, but we definitely call it the vineyard where I'm from. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you call it. Anyway, here we are. We have the tanker to begin with, so that can be taken back over to the yard, and then we'll come back here and lease the uh, livestock trailer. Yes, yeah, so the uh, big straw stack which we have over there in the field, that is going to be sold as soon as the price is high. I, I can imagine the price is still plummeting because we haven't really progressed time since I did that. It's still in real time and it's only uh, 12 minutes past 1 in the afternoon. So in a few episodes time, hopefully, it will then be time to uh, sell 
all of the straw. But for now, let's just leave the straw where it is. I'll put this tanker here for now. Well, it looks small in the back of here. I suppose it would do. And I'll see you over at the livestock market. Okay, I might have gone a bit bigger than I was expecting. But it just seems to be the best value for money. The smaller trailer could only take 10, 10 sheep in one go. And this one can take 24, I think, and the other one could take 36. Now, the one with 36 was obviously unnecessary because I'm not going to be buying so many that I can't do a few runs with this one here. Let's hope they have some uh, sheep. There we go. Good. Uh, yes, we have sheep. Good. I think I'll just spam it. Just spam everything here. Okay, and that's going to cost me £36,000. That's pretty good. That must be for 24. And now we can take those 24 sheep over to the farm. Already that would have cost us £2,400 just to get them delivered to the farm. And that would be... Um, well, we're going to get twice that at least, possibly even three times that. It would just be a total waste of money. It's cost me 4000 to uh, to have this so that is essentially the uh, equivalent of 40 sheep and we're going to have way more than 40 sheep so it's definitely a good saving I love this bridge it's just a very picturesque place giving the uh, sheep a good view and my indicator is still on I didn't realise I've been indicating the whole time and here is the first trailer load of sheep express delivery on the JCB or with the JCB it is a speedy tractor although we must make sure the sheep have a very pleasant ride they seem happy enough they're a little bit rigid but um, I think they're always like that now how do we get them into their enclosure this is the first time I've done this is it down there? there must be another way uh, let me just go and do a bit of research I think it was just because the door was open. It looked like it was a very narrow way to go, but actually, you could quite comfortably get a machine through here. There might be another way. I'm not too sure, but uh, this will work fine. So, let's just get... Well, I need to get the approach right. I'll just go all the way over here. Make it nice and easy. And then, yeah, we'll just do a really quick time-lapse and we'll pick up two more full trailer loads at least, of sheep. And there we go. Oh yes, then we have to spam it again. Confirm that, and we have sheep in the field. And they really do have a very decent sized field here. They can roam wherever they want to. Right, let's go and pick up another, let's say, 48 sheep. Okay, well here we are. That is another two loads which has been brought in. So we do have quite a few sheep now. They're going to be generating plenty of wool once I have given them water and food. Now I think probably the best thing to do is to set up a mower and a loading wagon. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. Sorry for the spamming, I've just got to spam these out of here. There we go, good. Okay, so that is obviously the carting of them finished. I don't know if we're going to even buy any more because they should start to breed hopefully. Uh, there shouldn't be any issues with that. So we have 29, 15, 15, 13. Pretty good. 
Obviously, productivity is going to be zero until I give them everything they require, which is going to be nice and simple to do. So uh, I'll just get this um, this returned. Then I think probably the priority is going to be water. And then I can do the grass. And then by the end of this episode, they, they should have 100% productivity. So we are down to £29,000, but we should start to make some money from the wall almost instantly. And also, uh, well, we have the straw. And do I have anything in storage? I'm not too sure. Apparently I do. Uh, in that case, yeah, we, we have plenty of uh, assets and products, materials that can be sold. So, yeah, I don't know if this map has a water fill point in the yard. I don't think Peterville did. That's by MJ as well. So he might have added one in. I'll take a bit of uh, hunting down. But if not, we can just go and get some water from the local river. Which will be free anyway, so uh, yeah. I think I'll just keep driving around until I discover something, or don't discover something. Okay, uh, I can't, I just had a walk down there, I couldn't see anything. I might have overlooked it, but um, yes, this map does have water, so uh, it's not a big issue, just as long as I can get down to the water. Maybe through here. We'll take a look, just take a drive and see what I can come across. But like I said, there could be a, a water fill point. I might have just missed it. Hey, this will do nicely. Perfect. So it looks like this is the intended place to refill tankers. A nice gradual bank so we can just reverse tankers into here. It's also very crisp water. Mmm. Crisp water is always the nicest water. Uh, oh. Just as I was getting excited about it, it isn't drinking water. Well, hopefully it's good enough for the sheep. Imagine that it's just for the uh, the people. Let's just get this filled up. Yeah, I don't know how much they're going to take, but from what I can remember uh, from doing sheep before, I don't think sheep really take that much water at all. We do have quite a lot of sheep, and they're going to breed, and then we'll have even more. But uh, yes, I don't think they are that thirsty. I could be wrong, but I think the cows take much more. So, yeah, this isn't costing me, which is good. It's just a free water source. And that is full. So I'll make my way out of here. It was uh, a nice drive. A nice place to come to. It's like this river here is just sort of intended for use by farmers. It's like everybody gathers here to get their water. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just wait and see. We'll see if it's just one load they're going to take. If it is multiple loads, that's fine. Just as long as I'm not going back there about 15 times, because otherwise I should have got a bigger tanker. And here we are back at this very good looking farm. Now I've already seen the trigger for the water. It's actually together. I think the water and the, uh, the feed is together. And I really do believe that because we're now going to be focusing on sheep, um, and, and really the primary food is just hay or grass. I think getting a loading wagon, just a small one, will be the sensible idea. Yeah, so here is the water trough and the feed trough. And yes, I don't think they're going to take it all, but I could be proven wrong. I most likely am going to be proven wrong. We'll see. Yeah, well, it is taking some time to fill, and it is emptying quite quickly, so it looks like we're going to be going for at least two loads, but, yeah, not 15, so that's good. <laughs> uh, let's just take a look here. Yep, so that is pretty much 50%, so two exactly should do it, and then, yeah, it's probably going to be like two small loading wagon loads of grass. I think we'll just cut it as we need it instead of just cutting a whole field because grass does tend to rot which is why we would make hay bales if I was wanting to store it so uh, yeah for today and, mo and possibly for the whole series we'll just cut it as they uh, actually require it so um, that way we're not wasting anything really I could do this with a much smaller tractor I could do it with the voucher but having speed tractor, as Jeremy Clarkson quite rightly called it, although not exactly this model, um, yeah, speed tractor makes it easy. Very easy. 
I think I might also use uh, speed tracks for the grass work. It does seem to be very good for that. Have I taken it out of four wheel steer? Or does it not have four wheel steer? Uh, that might have been the smaller tractor. I don't think the bigger tractor has that. Okay. It's amazing what a difference it makes because uh, I've used both recently. So, uh, yeah. The four wheel steer on the. Is it a 42 something? This will annoy me if I don't check. I'm pretty sure it's a 42. That's a large tractor. Is it a medium tractor? 4220. Yeah, that steers like a telehandler. My plan is for this to be, one day, within this series, to be a mammoth sheep farm. I think we can do it if we just keep spending all the money we ever get on sheep. Uh, it would be very interesting. How, how successful, how big can you make a sheep farm in farming simulator. Uh, probably easier to prove in uh, multiplayer because it, it's, if you do it in multiplayer loads of people are just generating money all the time and buying sheep and stuff but I've never really made a big sheep farm in single player so uh, let's just see how I can do this before we hit episode 20. Also that didn't all go in so we had more than enough. Right, the final job is to buy, I'm hoping to get that really small Pottinger forage wagon and we'll stick the mower on the front and then we can just pick it up as we go. Where can I put this tanker? Over here. Should do just there. So yeah, hopefully we can afford it. If not, I'm sure I can find something to uh, sell. Most likely grain. I have just remembered that we do have loads of machinery just sat over at the store. It shouldn't be there. So it's a good opportunity to actually bring something back. Um, yes, I've got the voucher. It does have the, the Joskin trailer, but I might be replacing that at some point. I'm not going to sell it just yet, just in case, but I do have the tractor here. So this is the one. £15,000. And well, I don't need to uh, customise anything here, I don't think. That should be fine as it is. So uh, we'll get that picked up. And we'll head back over to the farm. In fact, this might be a more appropriate tractor anyway. It does have the front three-point linkage. Yes, I'll <laughs> I was about to attach the back. That wouldn't have been a good idea. But yeah, seriously, I do need to have a bit of a tidy up here. I've been leaving things lying around. We'll just stick the mower on the front. And go from there, really. I'm pretty sure I do have a front mower. Okay. So I would have most likely put them together, the rear mower and the front mower. I would hope in the barn on the right hand side. Let's take a look. Yes, good. This is the issue of recording more than one series on, on more than one map, because you sort of forget what you've got, especially when you only do two episodes or three episodes a week on uh, various maps. Okay, so yeah, so to the first grass field, which is that grass field there. Just get this moved out of the way. The pit is ready to fill, so we could actually cut the other grass field at some point and create some more silage just to sell, because the sheep don't even require silage. It's a real mixture of brands. A class mower with a voucher tractor on a Ossinger Euro boss. Right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's working, it's not missing anything. Perfect. And yeah, like I said, we're just going to mow as we require it, so I'll fill this up to the top. Okay, that's 21,300 litres of grass. We're just going to go and put it in the trough and see what happens. I'm sort of expecting the trough to start filling up, <laughs> unless some kind of miracle happens. Um, but no, I, I'm sort of um, hoping that this amount will fill it because we're going to have more sheep in the future. And if it doesn't fill it, it means we're going to have to have a huge supply of grass and hay to keep the sheep happy.
Okay, so it does look to be filling up quite quickly. It won't necessarily be enough. Nope, it took it all. But how full is it actually? Okay, so it's um, getting close to two thirds. So I keep mowing. And then, well, I just do another full load because then there'll be some for next time. I love how the sheep just instantly came over to the trough. I just saw one heading over. I knew straight away that it had been fed. But, well, in, in FS, in farming simulator, you, you, you have to actually feed them, uh, even though they're in a field of lovely lush grass. Which has never really made too much sense, but, yeah. In theory, in, in farming simulator theory, they would die if you didn't feed them in the trough, even though they have so much grass around them. Almost full again, 85%, so uh, I should be able to just get to the top of here, spin round, and then head back over to the grass field, sheep field, and uh, unload. And, yeah, we, we already do have enough. Also, this is sort of uh, standard in farming space to have the shadows as dark as this. It's not this map, I'm not trying to criticise the map. Um, but it is very dark at like 5 in the afternoon. Farming Simulator has always been very high contrast to me. I was always have thought that 19 was just, over any other game, a really, really ridiculously high contrast. <laughs> anyway, how long was I mowing for without it picking up? Oh good, it's only just started. Okay, so uh, let's go over to the, uh, the sheep, and they can have the final load of grass. Look at that, you see, the wool pallet has already spawned, just over there. And I've only just given them the grass. I don't think they start to produce wool at all until you've given them everything they require. This amazes me how uh, generous the field size is. They're very lucky sheep. I suppose we have passed through quite a bit of time since the previous load, but that is now full. Look at that, 100%. Everything is just perfect. So we have lots of very, very happy sheep. Are you happy? You look happy. Mmm, you're smiling, I can tell. It's definitely smiling. Thank you for watching, everybody, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.